Wake Up with Bill and Andrea, weekdays on WKYT This Morning. Now at 8 on WKYT This Morning, how Kentucky leaders are responding to Joe Biden becoming the president-elect. Plus, where a memorial for Breonna Taylor is now standing as protesters continue demanding justice. And an ongoing murder investigation in one Kentucky county. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. I'm Olivia Russell. It's Sunday, November 8th, and thank you for joining us this morning. I know there are a lot of things you could be doing and enjoying the great outdoors today, but stick with us for another hour, and then you can go outside. Meteorologist Shane Smith has all the good news for us this morning. Yeah, it's going to be a gorgeous day across the Commonwealth, Olivia. Plenty of sunshine already this morning. A few fair weather, uh, cirrus clouds out there. Oh, it's going to be nice. So folks, enjoy it today. And the temperatures are not that bad this morning. In fact, uh, most of us running into the mid to upper 40s or low 50s. In fact, Lexington, one of the local warm spots right now, it's 55 out at Bluegrass Airport with a stiff southerly breeze at about 8 miles per hour. You can see we're up to 50 in Georgetown, still in the 40s for a, a lot of locations, especially southern Kentucky, 44 Harlan. 45 Somerset, 48 in Williamsburg. High pressure remains in control of our weather, although a little bit weaker than it was yesterday. That's why we're seeing a few of those ice crystal clouds popping up in the sky, and that will eventually give way to some big rain later in the week. But before we get there, potential to break a few record highs today, and then temperatures come crashing down at the end of the week. So we're a little bit all over the place on the forecast this morning, Olivia. We'll try to get it all straightened out for you coming up here in a few minutes. We'll check in with you soon. Thank you, Shane. Well, former Vice President Joe Biden has a new title, the president-elect. We're getting reactions from around the world and right here in Kentucky. WKYT's Grace Feinerman joins us live this morning. And Grace, what are state officials saying? Yeah, hi, Olivia. Yesterday was a big day. Now, many Kentucky lawmakers, politicians, and activists took to social media to share how they feel about President-elect Joe Biden. In a tweet, Governor Andy Beshear gives his congratulations. He writes, quote, we will work with the incoming administration as we have the current White House to improve lives and opportunities for every Kentuckian, end quote. The governor says it's time to come together as we are in the fight of our lifetime against COVID-19. Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman, Representative John Yarmuth, Amy McGrath, and Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher also tweeted messages of congratulations. Divine Karama, an activist based here in Lexington, also took to Twitter with excitement about the results. Now, as of now, no Republicans have commented, but coming up in our next half hour, find out how the election could impact the work of current Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Live in Lexington, Grace Feinerman, WKYT. Grace, thank you. We'll check in with you in about 30 minutes. Well, in Louisville, protesters say they will continue occupying Jefferson Square Park in Breonna Taylor's name and protesting for justice. Yesterday, they marched pieces of Breonna Taylor's memorial to the Roots 101 Museum. Posters, artwork, and mementos were moved. For some, it was a bittersweet day to move the memorial, but they know it'll be safe in the museum. Protesters say Breonna Taylor's name will forever live at Jefferson Square Park. Moving now to the ongoing pandemic, the Lexington Fayette County Health Department reported 125 new COVID-19 cases for its report before the weekend. On Friday, that ties for the seventh, the tenth highest single day case count reported in the city. No new deaths were reported. According to the health department's website, 12,130 total cases and 101 deaths have been reported in Lexington since the pandemic began. Public health leaders in the state say we could be in the middle of a frightening COVID escalation here in Kentucky. Yesterday, the governor's office announced more than 2,000 cases in a single day again. 17 new deaths were reported. The state's positivity rate is just above 7%, and that's the highest it's been since May 5th. Public Health Commissioner Dr. Stephen Stack says it's a critical time for folks to work together to defeat the virus. That means limit contacts, social distancing, wearing masks, and washing your hands. Well, Kentucky as a state is opening up two more testing sites because of the surges. One in Louisville is already open, but Lexington's will be open at Keeneland on Monday the 16th. It'll then run Monday through 
through Friday in the Keen Barn parking lot from 9 o'clock until 5. It's through a partnership with the federal government to help test in places where cases are spiking. We have the details on how to register for a test on WKYT.com. A shooting in Letcher County has left one man dead and another man in jail. Troopers with Kentucky State Police say they found the man, Zachary Back, dead from a gunshot wound on Friday night. Police say Back was shot by Chad Bowling. He was found next door after the shooting. The initial in investigation indicates that uh, a verbal altercation took place. At some point uh, became physical and at that point led to the shooting. Bowling is charged with murder along with first degree wanton endangerment. He's being held in the Letcher County Jail. No word yet on when he may appear in court. Tropical storm Ada is expected to make landfall in Florida tomorrow, and residents in the area are rushing to get prepared. People in South Florida are lining areas and even their cars with sandbags getting ready. Tropical storm watches were issued earlier this weekend for all of Southern Florida. Safety officials say emergency services are ready to be activated if and when they're needed. All of our supplies and equipment were already pre-deployed to our evacuation shelters. This is normally the time of year we start bringing some of that equipment back. At last update, at least 100 people in Central America have died from Ada. Definitely want to make sure our friends in Florida are safe too. But it is 8.06 on your Sunday morning. And when WKYT this morning returns, how soon Dr. Fauci predicts we could have a coronavirus vaccine. Keep it here. Was that a new neighbor? It was Joe with a lawn care company asking if we were interested in treatment services. What do you think, Blade? I like our time together, but if you hire a service, ask good questions. Well, they apply a fertilizer only in the fall. They apply only weed control in the spring. They shouldn't apply both every time. Is their fertilizer zero phosphorus? Do they sweep fertilizer off hard surfaces? Whoa, Blade, if we were to hire someone, we'd definitely make sure they'd protect our environment while taking care of our yard. Oh, that makes me feel better. DQ Biscuits and Gravy. This is the stuff that biscuits and gravy dreams are made of. The kind of dream where DQ homestyle biscuits are served fluffy and warm. And the scent of simmering gravy made with Pernell sausage make this a feast for all the senses. And then the dream ends with you taking a bite just to realize this is not a dream. And you're eating the best biscuits and gravy of your life in real life. From DQ. Look for drive through and carryout options today. DQ. Happy tastes good. If you're eligible for Medicare, you can get more with the WellCare Medicare Advantage plan. We provide more than original Medicare. More plans, more options, more choices of doctors and hospitals. And with the PPO plan, more freedom to choose your preferred doctor. We offer plans with zero or low premiums and co-pays. Enjoy more coverage with extra benefits like dental, vision, hearing, prescription drugs with free home delivery, plus free transportation to your doctor or pharmacy, free gym membership now with online classes, and free over-the-counter items like vitamins, toothpaste, pain relievers, and much more. Plus, WellCare also gives more access with online doctor visits and 24-7 nurse hotline. For more than 30 years, we focused on helping members get more from their Medicare with WellCare. Call now. We can answer your questions and help you enroll over the phone. Call 1-877-424-3051. Real steel. Find yours. And find what fuels you. Right now, get the BG50 blower for only $139.95 or the MS170 chainsaw for only $179.95. Not sold at Lowe's or the Home Depot. Pick up at over 9,000 local steel dealers. Find yours at steeldealers.com. When news breaks, Kentucky turns to WKYT. Day after day, the U.S. is breaking one record after another as COVID-19 continues to spread. So where are we with a vaccine? As Britt Conway reports, Dr. Anthony Fauci says he's cautiously optimistic that we might have something in the next couple of months. It's really concerning. This is going to get worse before it gets better, and it could get significantly worse. Former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb believes the COVID-19 case count will, in his words, explode over the next several weeks. 
and we're right at a tipping point. It's not just the uh, number of cases that are being diagnosed, but we need to look at hospitalizations, which are growing very quickly across all country. All while scientists work frantically to find a vaccine. Dr. Anthony Fauci told the CEO of the American Medical Association that the U.S. has six vaccine candidates in the works. Five of those are in phase three trials and two of them are fully enrolled. We hope that as we get into November and maybe in the early December, we will get an answer as to whether or not one or more of these candidates are safe and effective. I'm cautiously optimistic. But having a vaccine isn't a cure-all, literally. There are going to be two key questions at play. First of all, how effective would the vaccine be? And as importantly, how many individuals are going to opt to take the vaccine? So if we get a reasonably effective vaccine and a substantial number of people take it... I think we're going to be going in the right direction towards approaching some degree of normality as we head into 2021 in the second, third, and fourth quarter of 2021. I'm Britt Conway reporting. And as the case count ticks up, doctors expect we'll see some cities and states adopt more restrictive measures based on how the virus is developing in each particular region. Well, it is 8:10, and when WKYT This Morning returns, the doc is in to discuss a rapid spread of the coronavirus. And we're seeing plenty of sunshine this morning across the bluegrass. Find out how long it'll last coming up. But before we go to break, Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $152 million. And Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is $158 million. Hi, can I get one espresso shake and one Oreo espresso shake? Is it espresso? Espresso. 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 Espresso shake. No, espresso I, or espresso? It's espresso. You don't know about this swing right here. All right, Cash, bring the juice. All right, I'm ready this time. <clears throat> Benny's better at football. We're better at banking. Now that's better. UK Federal Credit Union. It's banking, only better. Attention! Listen up. This has gone on way too long. If we're going to win this thing, we've got to go big. Introducing Zaxby's new signature sandwich with a double hand breaded filet, split top bun, and Zax sauce, or new spicy Zax sauce. Only at Zaxby's. Food and spirits are Kentucky passions. Our flavors are world class and proudly local. We know Kentucky is ready to get back to the table, hungrier than ever. To get there, we need your help. Please wear your mask, y'all. It's like this. No shirt. No shoes. No mask. No service. Why do I wear mine? To get our food economy cooking again. And for a satisfying victory against COVID-19. And I'm urging you to mask up. WKYT-TV, an equal opportunity employer, is dedicated to providing broad outreach regarding job vacancies at the station. Vacancies at WKYT can be in production, news reporting and videography, sales and engineering. We seek the help of local organizations in referring qualified applicants to our station. Organizations that wish to receive our vacancy information should send a request to WKYT-TV, 2851 Winchester Road, Lexington, Kentucky, 40509. Patty, 100%. Patty, 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 patty. Um, the flavor, the way they cook it, mm-hmm. the way they season it, the way that it's made. Taste a burger. Mm-mm. Mm. Take Kentucky newsmakers with you wherever you go. Now available wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome back to WKYT This Morning. We've been talking about the latest spike in COVID-19 cases, and this morning the doc is in to share important information as we head into the winter months. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and the doc is in. After some overall stability and some decrease in some areas with COVID-19, we have unfortunately reached an area of rapid spread around much of the country. Some areas have changed from yellow to red and now purple, meaning significant spread of the virus. 
Now, this can be especially worrisome since we are heading into flu season and a lot of hospital resources are going to be stretched to the max. The key here is that we don't know exactly how long this increase is going to last, but we can expect significant numbers through the winter. Still, the best things that we can do are the social distancing, the masks, the hand hygiene, and one study even showed some benefit of potential antiseptic mouthwash. We all need to do everything that we can do to protect ourselves, to protect others, and decrease the spread of this potentially dangerous virus while awaiting the vaccine that will hopefully end this pandemic. You can join the conversation at our Doc is in Facebook page and at Everyday Med on Twitter. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and the Doc is out. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Shane Smith. A sunny start to this Sunday across central and eastern Kentucky. Let's take a look from the WKYT Tower Cam. Looking towards downtown, and you can see gorgeous blue skies. The last little bit of fall color hanging on, but there is not many leaves left on those trees. And the ones that are, well, it's either evergreens or it's brown as can be. Let's take a look at those current temperatures. 47 right now, Frankfurt 45, Danville, Somerset 46, Monticello 48, Williamsburg, good morning, Harlan. You're checking in at 44, 55 into Moorhead this morning. We're running anywhere from about 5 to 15 degrees warmer than we were uh, this time yesterday, although Owensboro, 18 degrees warmer. So they're into the 60s right now. Now, most of us will be into the 60s here in the next couple of hours and eventually heading into the 70s by this afternoon. You can see as we go hour by hour, just a gorgeous afternoon, plenty of sunshine, a little bit of a southerly breeze, a few passing cirrus clouds. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Monday, pretty similar, maybe a few more clouds. Temperatures once again, mid 70s. And then as we go into Tuesday, that's when our next chance of rain rolls into town as a little bit of moisture comes up from the Gulf of Mexico and sparks off a few showers and thunderstorms. But notice those uh, temperatures in Southern Kentucky, they actually flirt with 80. On Tuesday, I think here in the bluegrass will be into the mid 70s. Now, what's causing the nice weather? It's this big area of high pressure we've talked about the last couple of days. However, it is starting to weaken a little bit, and eventually it's going to move out to the east. In its place, a cold front currently brewing across the Rockies, bringing a blizzard to the upper Rockies, will head our way. Now, we're not expecting any kind of uh, winter weather around here, but it will bring cooler temperatures, and it will team up with a little bit of that moisture from Tropical Storm Ada to bring us some showers and thunderstorms starting Tuesday night. You'll see that as we look ahead. Here comes the rain during the afternoon Tuesday. The two systems get together Wednesday morning. That causes some moderate to heavy rain for portions of central and eastern Kentucky. And then the cool air moves in behind it. And that rain may even linger into Thursday morning and part of Thursday afternoon in eastern Kentucky with the latest look at some of that data that just came in. How much rain can we see? A general one to two inches for most of the region, a little bit less western and northern Kentucky, a little bit more in far eastern Kentucky. Now, once that system moves out, cooler weather begins to move in. Only going for highs in the 60s on Wednesday, 50s Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, with lows returning to the 30s. So we've been running well above average. In fact, we may break a record high today if we do get to 76, Olivia. Uh, but don't worry, things will be back to normal by the end of the week if you like the cooler weather. But I, I, I'm okay with breaking this record. I don't think anyone can complain with 76 degrees. In November, that's pretty comfortable. I'll take it any day of the week. I'll take it too. Thank you, Shane. Well, even though we have some nice weather, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at Disney World. The resort released the sneak peek pictures of their new holiday decor. The wreaths have been hung, lights strung, and the trees trimmed in three of their theme parks. They have Disney's Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios are ready for the holidays. Visitors can also expect several appearances by Santa Claus himself, his elves, and his team of prancing reindeer. Epcot will also receive its own festive makeover soon, but I always believe let's celebrate Thanksgiving first. Come on, people. Let's enjoy it while we have it. Well, here's a new kind of server. This cat-like robot meows when it's padded, but it also helps waiters in a Moscow cafe. They serve tables. 
It was introduced to provide contactless service as Russia reported over 20,000 new cases of the coronavirus over the week. Equipped with trays and digital screens featuring a cat's snout, the robot drives in between tables, delivering orders from the kitchen to customers and taking away dirty dishes. To avoid the spread of the coronavirus, the robot is disinfected every two hours. One waiter says it saves time as it can deliver many orders at the same time. And I just have to give him a shout out because I love cats so much. Maybe I'll just go to Russia. Wait, can't do that. No traveling right now. <laughs> well, it is 819 and there's still plenty more to come this morning. We've got sports up next. Both Henry Clay and West Jessamine advancing to the final four. We have the highlights from George Rogers Clark High School. Plus, a wild Saturday at Keeneland ends with the Breeders' Cup Classic. We recap the day of racing in just a few minutes. Leaves are so exciting, but in the street, they can cause accidents and pollute creeks. Always place leaves to be collected between the sidewalk and the curb, not in the street. Go to LexingtonKY.gov backslash leaves for details. You're going to love fast play games from the Kentucky Lottery. There's no waiting, no scratching, and a rolling jackpot. And you'll know instantly if you've won. Run out today and play this new fast play game. Find your rhythm, your happy place. Find your breaking point. Then break it. Every emergency gives you a potent blend of nutrients so you can emerge your best with emergency. The P-Rats Veterans Day Sale is going on now. With savings as good as the state sales tax and up to four years interest-free. Get a free power base upgrade, free comforter and sheet set, two free pillows, and free local delivery with any queen-size $9.99 or more mattress set. All for as low as $20 a month. Serta Memory Foam Queen Mattress Set, just $4.99 with a free power base upgrade. As low as $10 a month because nobody beats P-Rats. Shopping for a Medicare Advantage plan can get you tangled up in knots. And things can get mixed up. But CareSource will help you navigate Medicare, finding the right Advantage coverage. Don't worry, be happy now. CareSource has dependable medical, dental, and vision benefits and will help you search for extra financial help that could lower your costs even more. No stress, no hassles. And best of all, no surprises. Don't worry, be happy. Enroll by December 7th with CareSource. Happy Hour just got hoppier at IHOP with a $5 menu featuring pancakes, burgers, and more yum-yums. So while you can't buy happiness, you can buy hoppiness. IHoppy Hour, all day Monday to Friday, 2 to 10 on weekends. Are you prepared? Kerr Brothers is day or night with services that respect your family traditions, plus spaces for celebrations of life. Kerr Brothers, for over 100 years, we've known what's important. What's the next thing I need to talk to our lawn service about, Blade? Make sure they keep leaves out of the street. People on bikes can slip and get hurt. Leaves can clog storm drains, cause flooding, and wash through storm drains to our local creeks, causing algae blooms and other problems. I'm on it. The 2020 Breeders' Cup Classic has come to a close, and wouldn't you know it, Bob Baffert has won yet again for the fourth time a Breeders' Cup Classic Championship. He did it in 2014, 2015, and 2016, and now he does it again with Authentic, who led wire to wire. Authentic holding off down the stretch. Another Bob Baffert trained horse with Improbable. Baffert finishes 1-2 under the wire at the Classic. Really, we're at this point after the Preakness. I was sort of surprised, you know, his race. and I. But he's a, he's a, he's a quirky horse, and today... He's been working unbelievable. They all were. And Johnny, you know, I think Johnny really knows him well. And once he got him in that, that rhythm, he's just getting better and better. He's caught up with the older horses. Um, just an unbelievable horse. The championship is also sweet for the city of Lexington because Authentic has the majority owner of Spinthrift Farms over on Ironworks Pike in Lexington. So Bob Baffert takes the championship again in 2015 with American Pharaoh at Keeneland. In 2020 with Authentic, another Kentucky Derby champion. At Keeneland, I'm Brian Milam, WKYT. The Breeders' Cup Classic just the cap to a wild day of racing at Keeneland. That race, of course, features the best boys in the world. But how about the ladies? The Breeders' Cup Distaff bringing together the best female dirt horses for a championship showdown. 
This $2 million race featuring Monomoy Girl, who won this race in 2018, and Preakness winner Swiss Skydiver, the sixth filly to win a triple crown race. But Swiss Skydiver stumbled out of the gate, and at even money, Monomoy Girl wins by two lengths. Her trainer, Brad Cox, with his fourth win of the Breeders' Cup, tying the record for this event. In the $2 million Breeders' Cup mile, it's Order of Australia, a 73-1 to long shot. The Irish bred colt was in the race following a scratch, and his jockey was a substitute rider. Order of Australia taking down Halliday and Circus Maximus for the win. That's it for sports. Have a great weekend. Well, we are starting off with plenty of sunshine across the uh, region this morning. Here's a look from our Somerset Sky Cam down at RidgeNet Network Group. And you can see a beautiful morning across South Central Kentucky there. And we're going to see pretty nice conditions today. That's thanks to an area of high pressure remaining in control of our weather. Going to give us plenty of sunshine and some mild temperatures. In fact, we're going to go from the 50s over the next couple hours into the 60s and eventually topping out into the 70s this afternoon. Uh, should top out around 75, 76 degrees. And if we hit 75 in Lexington, that will at least tie the record. Now, that high pressure will give way to a cold front, which is going to also pick up a little bit of moisture off the Gulf of Mexico from Tropical Storm Ada, and that brings us our next big chance of rain Tuesday. Starts in western Kentucky during the afternoon Tuesday, then pushes its way across the rest of the Commonwealth. And it's just going to be a soggy day Wednesday, friends. You'll definitely want that umbrella, maybe even the rain jacket on top of it. There could be even a few uh, strong storms Tuesday evening as that front blows into town. The rain lingers into Thursday in far eastern Kentucky. We all dry out Friday, but it is going to be chilly across the region. How much rain can we see from this system? About an inch to inch and a half for most of the region, a little bit more southern and eastern Kentucky. Some of the models showing close to three inches. So that's something we'll keep an eye on. Those best chances of rain going to be Tuesday in the afternoon and then again on Wednesday. I think we should dry out for most of us by Thursday morning, although like I said, that could linger into eastern Kentucky for a little bit. We see a big time cool down for the end of the week, highs into the 50s, lows into the 40s and 30s, so it is about to take a real tumble, friends, as far as the temperatures are concerned. Don't go anywhere. We got more WKYT this morning coming up right after this. Toyotathon is on. Now's the time to get a great deal on Tacoma, RAV4, Camry, and more. I'll take it. I'll get this wrapped up for you. I wish I hadn't just unwrapped it. <sighs> get $1,000 customer cash on a legendary new 2021 Forerunner. $1,250 on the rugged new Tacoma. Or lease this Tacoma double cab for only $139 a month. Toyota Thon is on. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Your mission, stand up to moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis and take it on with Rinvoke. Rinvoke, a once daily pill, can dramatically improve symptoms. Rinvoke helps tame pain, stiffness, swelling, and for some, Rinvoke can even significantly reduce RA fatigue. That's Rinvoke relief. With RA, your overactive immune system attacks your joints. Rinvoke regulates it to help stop the attack. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious infections and blood clots, sometimes fatal, have occurred, as have certain cancers, including lymphoma, and tears in the stomach or intestines, and changes in lab results. Your doctor should monitor your blood work. Tell your doctor about any infections, and if you are or may become pregnant while taking Rinvoke. Take on RA. Talk to your rheumatologist about Rinvoke Relief. Rinvoke, make it your mission. If you can't afford your medicine, Abvi may be able to help. Lexington Overstock Warehouse. Open this weekend only for our huge Veterans Day Warehouse Sale. Stylish Ashley Sofa with pillows, only $2.97. Plus, take advantage of 12 months interest-free financing. Go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com now for more details. All right, soldiers. Today we decide. Are we going to run and hide? Or are we going to fight? They think it's over. Well, they got another thing coming. Because today, we're going big! 
Introducing Zaxby's new signature sandwich with a double hand breaded filet, split top bun, and Zax sauce, or new spicy Zax sauce. Only at Zaxby's. Watch Kentucky Field on Sunday, sponsored by Kurt Singer Sunrise Outfitters. on WKYT this morning, what the future could hold for President-elect Joe Biden and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Plus, KHSAA is delaying high school football playoffs, the new schedule for now. And what products could be limited in certain grocery stores. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. I'm Olivia Russell. It's Sunday, November 8th, and it's just another beautiful, abnormally beautiful November morning. You've got 30, min 30 more minutes with us, and then you can go outside and enjoy the beautiful day. And trust me, you will want to. Meteorologist Shane Smith with a beautiful sunrise this morning. Yeah, it's a gorgeous start to the day, Olivia. Plenty of sunshine, just a few cirrus clouds out there decorating the sky this morning. It is oh so nice, and the temperature is pretty mild here in the metro. 55 out at Bluegrass Airport and a little bit of a southeasterly breeze this morning. Now, a little cooler in some of the more rural spots. Danville, you're down at 48, 48 also. Somerset, 46. Monticello, 46 into Hazard, 57 right now. Moorhead, and you can see out in western Kentucky, Owensboro and Madisonville both checking in into the 60s, and that warmer air is heading our way very soon, friends. High pressure remains in control of our weather, just bringing a few fair weather clouds to the region and not expecting any precipitation at all today. In fact, the one thing we are expecting, the potential for a record high to fall. If we can get to 75 in Lexington, we'll at least tie that record. But the weather becomes more active as we head later into the week. By midweek, heavy rain looks likely, and then behind it, some much cooler temperatures. So we've got a very busy forecast to talk about this morning, Olivia, and we'll have all the details about it here in about 10 minutes. We'll check in with you then. Thank you, Shane. Well, we got some answers yesterday. Not everything is set in stone, as there are still some uncertainties this election season. One question, will Mitch McConnell remain the majority leader? WKYT's Brace Feinerman is live this morning, and great. Race, what will determine which party has the majority in the Senate? Olivia, it's been a few days. The election is still not over. Now, all eyes are on the Senate as to whether or not Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and the Republicans will hold on to that majority is likely contingent on two runoff races in Georgia. Right now, it's likely President-elect Joe Biden will face that Republican majority in the Senate. And there's already been some talk on Capitol Hill about whether the relationship between Biden and McConnell could break the gridlock in Washington. Biden and McConnell did serve in the Senate together for a quarter of a century. Analysts say they have a mutual respect, even a friendship. Again, there's still a handful of questions that have to be answered. The big one, as I keep mentioning, will the Republicans hold on to that Senate majority or will it flip over to the Democrats? Live in Lexington, Grace Feinerman, WKYT. A lot to keep our eyes on. Thank you for that update, Grace. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office needs the public's help in finding someone who they say vandalized a cemetery. Deputies said someone drove a large truck into the cemetery off Sinking Creek Road at Willie Green Road near London. Officials said the suspect knocked over multiple grave markers when it happened Friday night. Anyone with information is asked the call to call the number on your screen right there or message the office's Facebook page. Once again, at least three U.S. supermarket chains are taking steps to keep household items in stock. Kroger, HEB, and Giant are limiting purchases of certain pandemic favorites. Those items include toilet paper, paper towels, and disinfectants, the ones we've seen clear shelves with throughout the pandemic. Companies did this at the beginning of the pandemic, and they're doing it again as cases rise in the U.S. The first round of the high school football playoffs will not take place next week as originally planned. The KHSAA commissioner notified member schools that due to the climbing COVID-19 cases, the games will be delayed one week. As of right now, the playoffs will take place on November 19th, 20th, and 21st. But the commissioner also said this could still change if cases continue to rise in the state. The delay in the start of the playoffs means the state finals would be rescheduled for December 18th through the 20th at UK's Kroger Field. 
Happening this morning, Crossroads Lexington will kick off its annual Thanksgiving food drive with box pickup at the church. It'll be from 9 o'clock in the morning until 1245 in the afternoon. People taking part in the drive will pick up boxes at the church and a shopping list for items to provide an entire holiday meal for a local family in need. The filled boxes will be returned November 21st and 22nd for families to pick up, and that's a great program that they have there. Well, it is 8.34 on your Sunday morning. Still to come, what led to a vehicle going through an apartment building? Keep it here. I wonder who thought of the idea to come up with Oreo in an espresso shake to mix espresso and a shake. And ice cream. You sprinkle, sprinkle some Oreo on top of that. It just really gives it that razzmatazz. Espresso shake. Let's get razzmatazz. Good razzmatazz. It's great. Managing type 2 diabetes? You're on it. Staying fit and snacking light? Yep, on it there too. You may think you're doing all you can to manage type 2 diabetes and heart disease. But could your medication do more to lower your heart risk? Jardians can reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults who also have known heart disease. So it could help save your life from a heart attack or stroke. And it lowers A1C. Jardians can cause serious side effects including dehydration, genital yeast or urinary tract infections, and sudden kidney problems. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may be fatal. A rare but life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this bacterial infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis or have severe kidney problems. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Lower A1C and lower risk of a fatal heart attack? On it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. Hey! Hey! Hi! It's time to crack an egg. Easy, any style egg works here. Or smile. Well done, this looks great. Time to share a story. We have a great way to start our discussion. With old friends Canada. or new ones. When you're a caregiver. Time to breathe in. Inhale up. Good job. Then let it all out. Rah! It's never been easier to connect, learn, and have fun. Cheers. So let's do it together. Come find us at aarp.org slash near you. If you're going back to school, you want professors who care about who you are. You want a school that gives you credit for what you've achieved. You want choices about how and when you take your classes. You need more than just textbooks. You want the right resources to become the best you. This isn't just a wish list. This is what you'll find at Indiana Wesleyan University. Reimagine, reframe, and redefine what's possible at IWU. I don't even think I can make this at home for three ninety nine. No, you have to buy the meat, you have to buy the queso, you have to buy the bread, you have to buy the cheese, you gotta buy the grill, <laughs> you gotta buy everything. Queso burger. Ooh. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 981 the bull. Well, new this morning, there are no injuries after a vehicle went through the glass door of an apartment building in Lexington. This was the scene on Greyhawk Road, just off Alumni Drive and Turkey Foot Road. It happened around 1245 this morning, so if you're from around that area, you probably heard and saw all the lights from emergency vehicles. Police say the driver's foot slid off the brake and onto the gas pedal, sending him through the door. Nobody else was in the car. Speed and alcohol are not considered factors in this case. Keeneland says thoroughbred absolutely Aiden has been euthanized following an injury on the second day of the Breeders' Cup World Championships. The four-year-old went down about 200 yards short of the finish line. He had several injuries to one of his legs and was euthanized. All jockeys involved in that crash were evaluated and determined to be okay. The Richmond community continues to come together each year to honor a police officer shot and killed in the line of duty. Yesterday was the fifth annual 5K to celebrate the life of Daniel Ellis. Ellis was killed in 2015 during a robbery investigation. He was just 33 years old. This year, the memorial race had a virtual option and start times were staggered due to COVID-19. But still, more than 300 runners came out to show their support. See people out at the grocery store and they're like, they still talk about Daniel. And it does mean a lot to our family and we appreciate the support. It shows people appreciate the sacrifice made by police officers, uh, especially those that made the ultimate sacrifice like Daniel Ellis. So if you participated, organizers posted a photo gallery on their Facebook page. You can check that out.
Today is National STEM Day. It encourages students to study science, technology, engineering, and math, all the things I can't do. But a Lexington group teamed up with Toyota yesterday to celebrate. About 72 middle school students spent a month designing and making their cars for this soapbox derby. While, of course, the goal is to cross the finish line first, the bigger goal for the Black Men Working Group is to get these students involved in STEM and show what they're capable of. They're inside quite a bit, doing virtual learning and things like that. So they, they get an opportunity to come out and participate and learn by using academic standards they've been taught by their teachers and then applying that in real life situations and real life um, academics and learning. Toyota donated $25,000 to the group so they can continue with projects like this. And uh, they had some winners. There they are there. And they won some cash prizes, too. So it was definitely an exciting day for them. Well, it is 839 on your Sunday morning. So to come, a preview of Kentucky Newsmakers with Bill Bryant. Good morning, I'm Bill Bryant. The turnout was strong and some say they want the temporary changes to Kentucky elections to be permanent. I asked Secretary of State Michael Adams about that on this weekend's Kentucky Newsmakers. A little bit on the cool side this morning across the Commonwealth, but record highs may fall this afternoon. We'll tell you all about the warmth coming up. Enjoy! Get a sausage biscuit and hash browns or sausage McMuffin and hash browns for just $2 each. When it comes to selling your house, going with or without a realtor may seem the same. With the experience and speed of a realtor at your side, the other way just seems a little lonely. Don't get left behind. Find your local realtor today at LBAR.com and see the difference for yourself. So here's what I'm hearing. There's a lot of short-term health insurance out there that never really pays for the important things. Prescription drugs, pre-existing conditions, even preventive and maternity care. That's why so many people are choosing a CareSource Marketplace health plan. Now you can get real coverage with affordable co-pays, even for urgent care. You can even qualify to save hundreds off premiums and out-of-pocket costs. This is real health insurance you can really afford. Marketplace plans from CareSource. Enroll by December 15th. With Long John Silver's $10 C-Shares, you can choose from fish, chicken, fried shrimp, or grilled shrimp, and get enough for your crew to share. Each for just 10 bucks. Long John Silver's Fish Yeah. In this area, it is important to diagnose the cardiac disease that's here in the Cumberland Valley region. We can do various types of stress testing, which is a way of stratifying risk. Of course, we're here to respond to all cardiac disease, making accurate diagnoses and prescribing appropriate therapies, whether it be medical or surgical. All of the resources that we need to be doing this are here in the Cumberland Valley region. I'm Dr. Steve Rosenthal. Dr. David Seahow at ARH. The healthcare system of Appalachia. Celebrate the holidays with Skin Secrets' first ever virtual open house. Enjoy 20% off gift cards November 2nd through the 13th. Simply give us a call to purchase your discounted gift card and we'll drop it in the mail. Skin Secrets is your secret to natural beauty. Enjoy! Get a sausage biscuit and hash browns or sausage McMuffin and hash browns for just $2 each. Kentucky mornings start here. You're watching WKYT This Morning. Good morning, I'm Bill Bryant, and it sure is nice to have you here with us on WKYT. It was done because of an emergency, but many are now hoping that some of the changes in the way Kentucky holds elections will remain as we go forward. Secretary of State Michael Adams is one of my guests on this weekend's edition of Kentucky Newsmakers. Four generations, uh, Kentuckians uh, have been uh, used to having to vote within that 12-hour period, that 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on a weekday, a Tuesday, or, or swearing under penalty of law, some acceptable excuse for uh, asking for an absentee ballot. Do you see things changing now that the genie is out of the bottle on how this can be done and the fact that a lot of people have expressed uh, that they enjoyed the convenience? 
Well, it's too soon to say. I've got some conversations to have with legislative leadership over the next several weeks to see what kind of package we might be able to get through the legislature. I want to temper expectations. I think the governor would have an easier time getting expanded vetting through the legislature than I would getting expanded voting. It's a tough lift, uh, but I think it's certainly easier today than it would have been a week ago now that Republicans did so well. Uh, it showed that it doesn't hurt uh, or help a party to make it easier to vote. It, it just helps the voters. And we got to put them first in any event. And that's where I was going to go. You know, your own party has largely been uh, the one in opposition to expanded options, but uh, Republicans uh, did historically well in this uh, week's election using these methods. So does that does make it easier for you to approach them about uh, potential changes? I think so. I, I, I don't think... Uh, what we're doing in our state is not stuff that's brand new. It is to us. But I looked at these ideas from seeing what other states had done successfully. Uh, we've got neighboring states that are even more Republican than we are that have had early voting for a decade or longer. West Virginia and Tennessee and Ohio and Indiana, they've got uh, they've made it much easier to vote than we have here in Kentucky. Our election models based in the 1800s. And so I felt confident that we could have a system that was safe uh, but also wouldn't discriminate against either party. And I think we proved that on Tuesday. Do you make the case that uh, then that would be a, a modernization effort if uh, Kentucky were to uh, uh, to make uh, more wide open options? Yeah, I, I think so. You, you think of all the things that Kentucky, and, uh, Kentucky is 47th or 48th in. We're finally number one in something. We're number one in elections. And I hate to give that up. I'd like to keep not everything that we did, because obviously you don't need three weeks to vote in every election uh, you don't need uh, all the expense of expanded absentee uh, for every election. There's no need to vote remotely in future cycles the way we had this time. But I'd like to keep some of this, uh, certainly like the absentee ballot request portal and the cure process, in at least a few days of early voting. If you look at the early voting, it was it was light, uh, steady, but light the first two and a half weeks. And then it really picked up the Friday, Saturday and Monday before Election Day. That's what I'd like to see is it maybe keep those three days uh, add those uh, days for in-person voting so we can keep the expense down but also spread the turnout. It also means you need fewer poll workers. If you're able to have more days of voting in fewer locations, you need fewer poll workers, and that's still a big problem that we're going to be facing over this decade is having enough poll workers. Now, also on this weekend's Kentucky Newsmakers, find out more about the fun race for mayor in northern Kentucky that was won by a dog, and we have some money advice as we head toward the holidays in this uncertain year. Kentucky Newsmakers airs this morning at 10 on the CW Lexington, and we'll see you early this week on WKYT This Morning. For now, have a great Sunday. Bill Brown. Bryant, WKYT. Now, your hour by hour forecast with meteorologist Shane Smith. An absolutely beautiful start to your Sunday across central and eastern Kentucky. Plenty of blue skies and just a few passing clouds showing up in our downtown Lexington sky cam this morning. And we're going to continue to keep things nice and clear today. And I, for one, am going to enjoy the sunshine. Also going to enjoy some mild temperatures. Still a little cool in a few spots. Good morning, Frankfurt, London. You're both checking in at 47. 46 down in the Monticello, but uh, a lot of us now into the 50s. 52 Danville, 59 E-Town, 55 here in the Metro and also over in Mount Sterling, 56 in Jackson. And we will see those thermometers quickly rise now that the sun is up and we're getting a little bit of a southerly breeze. You can see we're about 5 to 10 degrees above where we were this time yesterday for most of the region. So quickly heading into the 60s over the next hour or so, then into the 70s by the afternoon. It is going to be a really, really nice day. If you need to uh, finish raking the leaves, if you need to get those Christmas decorations on the outside put up, good day to do both of those things. And tomorrow, if you have a chance, also a good day to do both those things, although a lot of us will be working. Uh, but those uh, highs will be into the mid-70s tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. High pressure sticking around at least for a couple more days. It's not until Tuesday when it breaks down enough uh, to really let this next front pass on through. And you can see that front and storm system still well off to our west, back into the Rockies, uh, actually bringing some snow up towards Montana this morning. Now, not expecting any snow down here uh, in Kentucky, but we will see quite a bit of rain from that system as it also grabs some of the moisture that will come off of Tropical Storm Ada, which is currently impacting Cuba. The moisture off Ada, you can see it streaming up into the southeast United States Tuesday morning into the afternoon. That'll trigger some showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms here on Tuesday. 
when the front and that uh, moisture get together on Wednesday, look out. Moderate heavy rain most of the day for a good chunk of the Commonwealth. And that rain will even linger into Thursday morning for far eastern Kentucky as cool weather sets up shop for the end of the week and the beginning of next weekend. How much rain could we see? We're talking a general one to two inches for most of the region. However, far eastern Kentucky, I'm going to say uh, pretty much uh, from about uh, Stanford or Campton East, uh, two to three, looking like a pretty good bet at this point. Um, that system is going to have a lot of moisture to work with. Now, once it moves on out, that cool weather moves in. We go from 70s for the highs early in the week into 60s by the middle of the week, and Olivia 50s to end the week with lows into the 30s. So uh, we got a couple more days of nice weather. I'm planning on enjoying as much as I can. You said you were firing up the grill. Was that, I, was that I was, true? Because I always I show wanted, up. I wanted to. I, I didn't <laughs> last night. I may try to do it this evening. There you go. Well, you have to let me know. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Well, here's a preview of today's Full Court Press. Today on Full Court Press, I speak to Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey. Would a President Biden think it wise to shut down the economy in any way to fight this virus? No, what he's going to do is what President Trump should have done, which is to not only listen to, but be guided by the science and the expert. But what is it that he can do differently right now from this moment going forward to deal with this uh, horrible menace? Well, Greta, in a word, lead. Uh, that's what presidents are supposed to do. You can watch the full interview on Full Court Press later this morning at 1130. That is 8.50, and here's a look at what's coming up on CBS News Sunday. This weekend, the one and only Sophia Loren. Everybody ages. I mean, me too. I'm another saint. <laughs> Plus chapter and verse with Steve Martin. Attila the Honey Bunch. <laughs> and we toast a legendary bourbon, bottoms up, Sunday morning. Recycle right, Central Kentucky. Completely empty cardboard boxes before recycling them. Remove packing material and throw away plastic packaging. Unwanted material can harm equipment at the Recycle Center. More info at LexingtonKY.gov slash recycle. Some people like to take things slow. But if speed is your game, you're going to love fast play games from the Kentucky Lottery. There's no waiting, no scratching, and a rolling jackpot. And you'll know instantly if you've won. Run out today and play this new fast play game. You can be healthy. You can eat right. You can even have good genes. But with cancer, there may be other risk factors you should know. So take an online assessment from Baptist Health, which can tell you your risk, lead to early detection, or simply peace of mind. It's world-class care even before you need it. Closed captioning on WKYT is sponsored by Cumberland Valley National Bank. If you're going back to school, you want professors who care about who you are. You want a school that gives you credit for what you've achieved. You want choices about how and when you take your classes. You need more than just textbooks. You want the right resources to become the best you. This isn't just a wish list. This is what you'll find at Indiana Wesleyan University. Reimagine, reframe, and redefine what's possible at IWU. How's everybody doing? Hey, guys. Hi. It's time to lean on each other. All of you guys, so much great support. And laugh with each other. <laughs> Cheers. Let's do it together with caregiving chats and more. Come find us at aarp.org slash near you. Get the news you need with push alerts on the WKYT News app. WKYT stands for Kentucky on the WKYT News app. Recycle right, Central Kentucky. Completely empty cardboard boxes before recycling them. Remove packing material and throw away plastic packaging. Unwanted material can harm equipment at the Recycle Center. More info at LexingtonKY.gov recycle. 
Welcome back. Baby Nancy, the first black baby doll to have an afro and other authentic features, is now in the National Toy Hall of Fame. Baby Nancy was the inaugural doll for a California company launched in 1968 by Operation Bootstrap, Inc. That was the not-for-profit black community self-help organization that emerged in the aftermath math of the Watts riots in Los Angeles. By Thanksgiving of that year, Baby Nancy was the best-selling black doll in Los Angeles, and before Christmas, she was selling nationwide. Other toys inducted into the hall were the game Jenga and Sidewalk Chalk, and a lot of worthy inductees there, and uh, really excited for Baby Nancy and, of course, Jenga, which is one of my personal favorites. <laughs> it's kind of making a comeback these days with those giant <laughs> Jenga blocks, too. I really like it, so... Certainly a day to get outside. Maybe don't play with all the toys today and get outside and enjoy it because uh, you don't have too many days to enjoy it left. Right, Shane? Good day for the sidewalk chalk, you know. Get there out and do go. a little, little sidewalk, <laughs> sidewalk artwork with plenty of sunshine. You can see uh, plenty of sun still out there right now on our Moorhead Sky Cam out at Moorhead State University. High pressure remaining in firm control of our weather today going to bring us a gorgeous day. We're right now generally into the 50s across the region. We're going into the 60s and 70s this afternoon. In fact, most of us should top out into the low to mid 70s. So overall, really nice weather heading our way for today. Could see a record high fall if we get up to 75 in Lexington. Now our next weather maker is lining up across the Rockies. And that will push on in towards the region as we go into the day on Tuesday. You'll notice that rain moves into western Kentucky early in the day and then uh, moves through the region all day on Wednesday. So Wednesday looking like a pretty soggy day. And that is going to lead to quite a bit of heavy rain. How much rain are we talking well, it could be about an inch to an inch and a half in central Kentucky. And notice with these purples and reds showing up on the European forecast model. That's two to three inches. And if you watched yesterday morning, we were talking about how the GFS model was showing a little bit less. Well, it's now flip-flop. It's actually showing more. Notice the red showing up. That's uh, three to four inches in some locations. So I'd say a good bet back towards Lexington, central Kentucky. We're talking probably an inch or two. Far eastern Kentucky and southern Kentucky around Somerset and London, two to three with a few pockets of higher amounts. So the best chance of rain comes on Wednesday. That rain will likely linger into eastern Kentucky Thursday morning. So places like Hazard, Harlan, back over to Pikeville, keep those umbrellas handy on Thursday morning. And the big story is going to be the temperatures. We are talking a big time temperature drop going down into the 50s for highs on Thursday and Friday with lows into the 30s. So if you have any kind of outdoor work to get done, we're talking uh, getting the grill cleaned up and put up for the year, getting that uh, Christmas decor put up, getting the yard cleaned up from all the leaves that have fallen. Next two days going to be awesome to do that. Tuesday, I think we see about half a day of nice weather. And then the second half of the day, things get a little bit stormy. Could see some gusty winds as that front blows through. And then Olivia, Wednesday is just going to be downright soggy. So it is going to be a really interesting forecast. Uh, and I know I'm looking forward to at least a couple more days of warm weather before we start to cool off by the weekend. Well, this is just Kentucky for you. We have 76 degrees and then overnight lows getting down to 37, close to freezing there. What more can you expect in Kentucky? Uh, Hey, you know, three seasons out of four in one week, that's typical around here. Yep. Oh, yeah, we're pretty much used to it. Let's just not say the S word here. We don't even want to start talking about snow. A little early for that. But thank you, Shane. And thank you for joining us. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you back here next weekend. Now, Semperica Trio simplifies protection. Ticks and fleas? See ya. Heartworm disease? No way. Simparica Trio is the first chewable that delivers all this protection. And Simparica Trio is demonstrated safe for puppies. It's simple. Go with Simparica Trio. This drug class has been associated with neurologic adverse reactions, including seizures, used with caution in dogs with a history of these disorders. Protect him with all your heart. Simparica Trio.